just heard a little while ago. I had let my mom's camera charge. Stupid tripod so let us know. Um I didn't have my I don't know why we don't have any cards, so I made some with um MMS for mathematically minded fractal stuff. Um so not only did I figure out how your trick works, but I also came up with a generalized equation to um you know, solve it. So we're going to define you don't have to deal out um you don't have to deal out all the stacks of cards. All you need to do is pick a card and deal out those many cards. Have to pick three stacks. Just generally three stacks. So I like So here we have our three stacks and for some we're gonna say um this is X, this is Y, and this is Z. And X, Y, and Z refer to the number on that. Eight, seven, and two in this case. So let's write that down. And this will work for any number of cards dealt within limit of um, your card size stack. Matter of fact, you can work with this without limit if you use modulus, using modulus 52 kind of a thing. But that's more complicated than it needs to be. So we're going to say. N is our max cards dealt. In this case, N is 10 for your thing. So, M is the magic number we're trying to find. Okay? Um is our total number of cards, which in most cases will always be 52 because it's the number of cards in the general deck. So, this trick also works with any number of stacks of cards as long as you flip over. Um, let's define it as A. Let's define it as um the number of stacks you flip over has to be a minus one, which you keep you keep one of the stacks open. So how many cards are there in one stack? Let's take my stack of eight. So we our n in this case is ten. 
So what's 8 minus 10? It's 2. But that's the number of cards I deal out. I didn't include 8 itself. So, um, basically now we have 3 cards. So it's really x, this is x, plus 1. Well, x, I mean, n minus x plus 1, because you have your n is, uh, your n is, uh, 10 in this case, minus x, which is 8, is 2, plus 1 is 3, and there are clearly 3 cards here. Um, same goes for the other stacks, um, the 2 and the 4, I think it was. Um, no, the stack of 4 went, whatever. Um, so now, you see that, so now you have, um, 1 plus n minus, for now we're just dealing with 3 stacks, just for the sake of simplicity of the math. Now dealing with 1 minus, uh, 1 plus n minus x equals cards under x including x um then you have one plus n minus y equals that for y and one plus um n minus z is that for z and you continue this for as many A's as you have, you'll see why it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter, but you'll see why you can generalize this really fast. So now, what is this? These are the, This is the amount of cards total that you've taken away from your stack. You originally have 52 cards. That's your key. But you're subtracting this from a um the T, so now you only have a certain number of cards left. So what do you have left? You take this amount of cards away, and this amount of cards away, and this amount of cards away. That's basically T minus one plus N minus X plus one plus n minus y plus 1 plus n minus z. And you continue this pattern plus plus 1 minus 1, one plus n minus let's say b and so on. It's, you just basically have as many terms as you need to. Because what this is going to simplify down to you'll see in a bit. So, this, let's say, equals S for now, S for subtotal, okay? Um, now, now here's another little trick, and it'll help you understand why this trick works first before I explain it to you. So, you pick a number, double it. Add 10, divide everything by 2, now subtract your original number from this number you have right now. You'll end up with 5, and here's why. You pick a number, x, you double it, 2x, you add 10, plus 10, divide it by 2, divide it by 2, and subtract your original number, x, and this will equal 5. You simplify this down to x plus um, x plus 5 minus x equals 5. The x's cancel out, so now you have 5 equals 5. And a very similar principle will happen here, except all of your little x's, all of your card stacks, the number you had initially, will cancel out. And this is for your magic number. You can solve this for any variable.
but I'm selling it for your magic number 19 right now. Um, so now, um, back to here. Okay? So you take away two of the, so you flip over two stacks and you have numbers X and Z. Okay? Um, so you subtract that from your S because that's the number of cards you have left and you're trying to get rid of those cards. And then you have, you're taking away your magic number. And this should equal the number on your Y card. Okay? What it basically is in algebra speak is this. You're, you have your smaller stack. Okay? You're taking away the first number you have, your X. And it's also taking away your second, the, the third stack you have, which is your, um, your Z. And then you're taking away your magic number, which is that. And this should equal your other stack, which is Y. We're solving this for M, and then you'll get negative M, I'm keeping it in negative for now, just for simplicity, um, equals, um, X plus Y plus C minus S. And I hope you understand basic algebra because um, that's a whole different thing to explain. Um, sorry for the really crappy video quality also. I'm using my mom's camera because I don't know where mine is. No. Also, I want to say hi to Pierre. Have you seen him before? This is Pierre. This is the guy I always talk about. He's my boyfriend. Let me appear. Um, anyways. Um, so, now you substitute this thing, which is S, into this. So you have negative M equals X plus Y plus Z um, minus this. Um, T minus... 1 plus n minus x plus 1 plus n minus y plus 1 plus n minus z and that's your m, yep. Now, let's simplify this. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. n plus n plus n is 3n x minus y minus c is x minus y minus z. Well, negative x minus y minus c. This thing. So, however many card stacks you have, it'll always be that number is a constant times your n, the number of stacks you have, minus the top stack, the, the, the numbers from the top stacks. So, it'll be like this. Your formula will be basically m equals x plus y plus C minus um, T minus um, three plus three N minus X minus Y minus C. Should be just a normal bracket. So that's your basic um form if you had four stacks it can be four. Yeah. Um so mm, you're basically now just distributing negatives. M equals X plus Y plus Z minus T minus no, T yeah, T minus three minus three N um plus X plus Y plus Z. Now you do the negatives again. Negative M equals X plus Y plus Z minus T plus 3 plus 3 N minus X minus Y minus Z. <coughs> now here's why I explained to you this. See how my X is cancelled out? Look what happens to all of your variables here. The X and the X cancel out, 
the Y and the Y cancel out, and the Z and the Z cancel out. So now you're left with negative M equals negative T plus 3 plus 3N. So now for M, M equals T minus 3 minus 3N. And that's why your trick works. All of this will explain why the trick works, but this is why your magic number is what it is. So, let's see, you have a, um, you have 52 cards, GCT, minus 3, minus 3, times what is your N, which is 3. Wait, whoops, uh, your N is 10, sorry, minus 10. And my one key did not respond. 19. If my mom's camera would focus. But that's 19. And the coolest part about this is that this equation can be further generalized for any number of stacks. You remember how these things are depending, will it simplify from this no matter how many stacks you have? <coughs> Your M will then equal T minus A, which is your this number, which is why I told you about that earlier, um, minus A N. So if you had four stacks, and there's over three of them, then your fourth number would be whatever um, your let's say your fourth card is B, um, whatever B is. Um, but your magic number will vary from permutation to permutation, but your standard deck will be that. So if you know you have a 52 deck card, and you know you want to have three stacks, then you all, then, you'll, then you can calculate um, the number and you can calculate like the maximum number of stacks you want, and so on for the rest of the variables. Um, and this will vary for all of them. And thing is, if m happens to be negative, what you do is you take from the stack. So I can't think off the top of my head something that's negative, but um, let's see, what was it? I think m was. I think we use a stack of, me and my dad, we use a stack of, um, we use four stacks of ten. So that's two minus four minus four times ten. And, no, that wasn't it. I think it might have been twelve. No, zero. For, z for zero, for stacks of four with twelve in each stack, It'll be zero. You don't. There's no magic number. You don't have to take anything. So yeah. Say if you okay. Say that you use all of the cards. So thirteen cards. So thirteen. And we're gonna regard queen as eleven. Um. No. Uh, Jack is eleven. Queen is twelve. And king is thirteen. So shuffling the cards. Um. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Ten, seven, eight. If you're also wondering what this S means, it's saying that this is a spades, because my spades and slubs look really close together. 8, 9, 10, 11, <coughs> 12, 13. Okay. This is already a king, so, um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ace, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Now we have our four cards. And here I'll show you again with the last calculation. 52 minus 4 minus 4 times 13. So we're having 4 stacks, we having our maximum card 13, because that's as much as you can deal. Negative 4. Under the negative 4. What do you think that means? Think about that while I do the trick. Um, so, okay. Um, oh, the camera's you. I flip over three of the cards. So we have nine. Okay. Going to deal out nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh look, I have four cards. But that eight one two, three, four. I take back four cards from this stack if this number I get is negative. And if you happen to get a number that's greater than 52, that if you get a number that's greater than 52, then you also take back eight cards. If it's, if it's great, if it's less than negative 52, then you start putting back cards. So it's basically a modulus of 52. Um, <coughs> in a weird, in a really weird way. So you, sub, you subtract the whatever number you have you, from 52 or vice versa, and you, that's the number, you'll have a number that's you have to get a number that's one it's in between fifty two. So you do a module of fifty two and use the remainder. Um so that's basically your card trick. Um it took me a, a little while to figure out because I was so sleepy and I spent most of my time making the cards because I needed to actually have the cards to play with them to see what patterns they generated and see if I can do certain things with the thing with the um the cards like seeing if I didn't have to deal out all the cards. Um so as you can see you don't have to deal out all the cards and um that's basically your math right there. So that's your function. Your magic number function. See how that works? So the thing will probably be I had to re reverse the image, so I have to hold the camera upside down. Um, but yeah, that's basically the math of it. Um, that was my original paper. Well, my original original paper. That's what I was using to write this so that I wouldn't screw up anything just in case. Um, the original paper was this. Um, I hope you liked it. That was really fun. Um, well, bye.